Uh, let's talk about our brain and our mental acuity. Our mitochondria in our brain cells prefer ketones, which do pass the blood-brain barrier. And again, what brain would you want? The brain that's working on glucose and refined carbohydrates that consumes one-third more oxygen and produces one-third less ATP? Or would you want brain cells that are consuming one-third less oxygen and producing one-third more energy packets called ATP? I think we know the answer. This isn't, uh, this isn't just hand-waving. Uh, this is science. This is reality. So let's take it to the pure practical level. We have a society that is on the verge of uh, serious, serious health issues uh, among greater than 60-70% of the population because of lifestyle choices. And so where do we go? Do we go to diets where we just stop eating this particular food or that particular food? Or do we choose a lifestyle where we don't have to compromise anything? We can still have a cookie. We can still have a little sugar. We can still have that good and plenty at the, uh, at the uh, movie theater. We can still have that popcorn. And at the same time, do it in a reasonable, rational way, but move our body, well, what I might call it biohacking our body, giving it what it was designed to desire and consume with the majority of our lifestyle choice. 